brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Defendant Andrew Rios Jr. wants his case not only severed from his co-defendants, but dismissed altogether. Defense in their motions filed last week argue there's no proof the victim, Ernest Manson, also known as Idri Asar, was ever sodomized. While six of his co-defendants are charged with murder, manslaughter, and aggravated assault, Rios is only charged with first-degree criminal sexual conduct. It's alleged Rios covered his hand with a plastic bag and digitally penetrated an already helpless Isar. Though listed as confidential, defense's motion provides a copy of a supplemental police report. This report states it had been rumored Isar had been raped during the attack. Following up with the tip on that same day, an investigator met with Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola, who conducted a visual check of the victim's buttocks and anal region. The deceased was still on a gurney. According to the police report, quote, Dr. Espinola indicated that there was no evidence of sodomy, end quote. So how is it Rios was indicted for rape? Defense argues the government failed to provide this information to grand jurors. In similar motions to get the case dropped, defense states there's no proof Rios worked with the other defendants in the beating. As we've been reporting, Marvin Retchum, Benster Benjamin, Albert Santos II, Moses Hadley, Ayla Cimarron, and Eisler Miller are accused of taking turns in brutally beating Isar. It was apparently a revenge attack on Isar, who was accused of raping a teen girl with Down syndrome. That teen is reported to be a relative of someone in the prison who ordered the attack. In court on Wednesday, defense counsels requested they be allowed to visit the scene of the crime. Attorney Levin Camacho on behalf of Benjamin also noting his intent to file a motion to sever as well. A hearing on these motions is set for April 9th. Trial, meanwhile, is scheduled for April 13th. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.